Hi everybody, it's Teacher Kelly. And today I know we're talking about being on the farm. So I thought a fun activity we could do is milk a cow. I know I don't have a cow, but we're gonna make our own. And I know with like the pandemic going on and stuff, some of us might have some gloves, some of us might not. So if you have some gloves, you know, you could do this, or you could probably even use like a Ziploc bag if you guys have one of those. I'm just gonna pull mine the right way. So what you're gonna do is if you're gonna take either your bag or your glove, and you're gonna take a Sharpie if your parents will let you. Um, if not parents, then you can just draw some uh, like little, little cow patches on it, you know, give it some of the spots. It doesn't have to be perfect just because this will be an activity you'll just probably throw away when you're done. But I thought this might be a fun activity. So I'm just going to give mine just a few little cow spots. So when you're all done, it should look something kind of like this. Mine's kind of already starting to melt, but it needs to get milked. Uh, so just draw on like some spots, you know, it doesn't have to be anything perfect. So I just drew on a few right now. So here's the spots. And then I'm gonna put the one that I, I already did over here. And then you can fill it up with uh, water and flour if you want to make it look kind of more like a milk consistency, or you just do water either way. But you're just gonna fill this up like so. Oops. It'd be great to have a parent to help you. So I'm just gonna open it up. Fill it up like so. Whoop. See? It's already starting to come out. That's okay. But um, what I would do is then take a hair tie like this one and go ahead and start. But this one I'm going to put aside in this cup over here. Oops. And I'm going to put some of the water that came out in this cup that I have. And then I'm going to show you. So if yours isn't kind of like leaking already, um, what I would say is parents go ahead and take like a, a um, thumbtack and just like poke a little little tiny hole to make it like look like the udders so I'm just gonna poke some holes I would recommend not letting your preschooler poke the holes because we don't want them to get poked so I'm just gonna poke three holes or we'll do all, all of them it can be just a little tricky okay I think they're all pretty much poked I just got to get this one right here okay so when you do it, you're gonna have it like this, and then all you're just gonna do is you're gonna go from the top and you're gonna slowly move it down. See how it's just kind of dribbling out? And that's how you milk a cow. See? Oops. That's how you move the udder. If you really wanted to, you could put milk in it. I'd probably recommend not doing it, but if you want to, you could, to show your child how they do that. And you just keep going and you just pretend like you're filling it up with some milk. This is what farmers do on um, farms with dairy cows for the milk. They fill it up and then they process our milk in different ways. But this is just one idea. So I thought this might be a kind of a fun water activity for you guys. My glove, I think I need to poke a little bit more holes. But I just thought you guys might enjoy this activity. It might be a little fun educational one. So... My, <laughs> mine's a little, having a little bit of issues, but just poke the holes and get creative. So I'm gonna let my cow rest and go to sleep. So I'm gonna put my cow over here. But I hope you guys enjoyed the activity of pretending to milk a cow. And I hope you guys have fun with it. All right, bye.